So today we are going to study the numericals on COD. In the last class, we have studied about chemical oxygen demand, now about its procedure as well as calculation part. Okay. So today we shall study about the numericals on COD, chemical oxygen demand. Now here we have a problem. 20 ml of sewage sample for COD is reacted with 25 ml of potassium dichromate solution and the unreacted potassium dichromate requires 9 ml of N by 4 FAS solution. Under similar conditions in blank titration, 15 ml of FAS is used up. Calculate COD of the sample. Okay, so this is the problem we have now. So let us go with the solution. Now, whenever we need to solve the problem, I've told that you need to solve it stepwise. So initially you want to write what is being given here. Okay, you're going to write what is given. So what is given? First thing, the volume of sewage sample is given. So the volume of sample, volume of sample is equal to how much? 20 ml. Volume of sample is given, it is 20 ml. We write this volume uh, of sample as V ml, right? Then, what else is given? So here it is given that the volume of FAS that is required uh, or that is consumed during sample titration is 9 ml, okay? So the volume of FAS consumed in sample titration this is given by a which is equals to 9 ml right then next what else is given under similar conditions in blank titration 15 ml of fas is used up so how much ml of fas is used up 15 ml of FAS is used up in blank titration. So the volume of FAS consumed in blank titration is equals to B, which is 15 ml, right? Then normality of FAS is given N by 4. N by 4 means 1 by 4 normals FAS. 1 by 4 normals FAS means it is point. 2, 5. Okay. So the normality of FAS, normality of FAS is equals to N, which is given as N by 4, that is 0.25 normals. Okay. So this is the normality of FAS. Then once this is given, now we know the COD formula. So what is the formula of COD? COD is equals to N into B minus A divided by V into 8000, right? So what is N? N is 0.25. Then B is what? It is 15. A is 9 divided by V. How much volume? It is 25 ml, sorry, 20 ml, right? So it is 20 ml into 8000. So this is going to be 0 0.25 into 15 minus 9. This is 6 divided by 20 into 8000. Okay. So 0 0.25 into 6 is 1.5 divided by 20 into 8000. So this is equals to 1.5 divided by 20 is 0 0.075 into 8000. So when you multiply 0 0.075 into 8000, you will get 600 milligrams per liter. Or you can also write it as 600 milligrams per dm cube. So this is the COD of the sample. Okay. So this is how you are going to calculate stepwise calculation for the given problem. So I hope you all understood this. So now 
let us move on to the next problem so here we have the next problem Twenty five cm cube of sewage water was refluxed with ten cm cube of point two five normals K two Cr two O seven in concentrated sulfuric acid medium. The unreacted K two Cr two O seven needed six point one cm cube of point one normal FAS, ten cm cube of point two five normals K two Cr two O seven. When titrated under same conditions, required twenty eight point two cm cube of point one normal FAS solution. Calculate the COD. Okay, so now again we are supposed to write given. So when you start writing the solution, write down what is given. So what is given here? The volume of waste water sample or the sewage water sample is given and it is 25 cm cube volume of the sewage water v is 25 cm cube means 25 ml okay so the volume of sewage water or you can say volume of sample is equals to v which is Twenty-five cm cube means again cubic centimeters ml itself. Okay. Then, again, what else is given? So, volume of FAS that is required in sample titration is given. For sample titration, it is six point one cm cube. Okay. So, volume of FAS, volume of FAS required during sample titration, during sample. Titration. So how much is that? It is given by A, which is six point one mL. Okay. Then the volume of FAS that is required during blank titration. Again, that is given, which is twenty eight point two cm cube. Means twenty eight point two mL. So volume of FAS required during blank titration. So during blank titration, it is given by B, which is Twenty eight point two mL. Okay. Then, what we have? What we want? Normality of FAS. Normality of FAS given. It is pretty clear here, which is point one normals. So the normality of FAS is equal to n, which is point one normals. Okay. Now, therefore. COD is equals to. So we know the formula. COD is equals to n into B minus A divided by V into A thousand. Okay. So what is n here? It is point one into B minus A. B is twenty eight point two minus A is six point one divided by B is twenty five into Eight thousand. Okay, so this becomes now twenty-eight point two minus six point one. That is going to be zero point one into twenty-two point one divided by twenty-five into eight thousand. Okay, so now point one into twenty-two point one. So that is going to be two point two one divided by twenty five into eight thousand. So two point two one divided by twenty five is zero point zero eight eight four into eight thousand, right? So now point zero eight eight four into eight thousand will give you seven zero seven point two milligrams per dm cube. So this is COD of the Sample. So it is seven zero seven point two milligrams per dm cube. Yes, I hope you are understanding how to solve the problems. So now we have the next problem. 
here. So this is the third problem what we have here. In a COD test, 28.1 and 14 cm cube of 0 0.05 normals FAS solution were required for blank and sample titration respectively. The volume of the test sample used is 25 cm cube. Calculate the COD of the sample solution. Okay, so here directly the amount of FAS that was required during sample and blank titration. I mean the, for the blank and sample titration those are given directly that is 28.1 and 14 cm cube. Okay, then the volume of the test sample used is 25 cm cube. So now we need to calculate COD of the sample solution. So this is the question we have here. Now again we need to solve for this. So write down solution and then what all is given here? So what is given? Volume of the test sample is given. So volume of sample is volume of sample is how much? 25 cm cube or you can also write it as ml okay then next volume of fas volume of fas required during sample titration during sample titration again that is given which is a and it is 14 ml or 14 cm cube. Then volume of FAS required during blank titration is equals to B which is 28.1 ml. Okay. And then normality of FAS is given which is 0 0.05. So normality of FAS which is equals to N and that is 0 0.05 normals. So therefore, COD is equals to N into B minus A divided by V into 8000. So that is equals to N is 0 0.05 into B is 28.1 minus A is 14 divided by V is again 25 into 8000. Okay, so now 28.1 minus 14 is going to be 14.1. So this is going to be 0 0.05 into 14.1 divided by 25 into 8000. Then next 0 0.05 into 14.1. So this is 0 0.705 divided by 25 into 8000. Now 0 0.705 divided by 25. So this is 0 0.0282 into 8000. Okay. Now 0 0.0282 into 8000 is 225.6 milligrams per dm cube. So this is the COD of the sample. So I hope you all understood how to solve the problems. Yes, I hope you all understood how to solve the problems. Okay, so we shall go back to the second problem here. We'll go back to the second problem. See here, just read the questions. Like 25 cm cube of sewage water was refluxed with 10 cm cube of 0.25 normals K2Cr2O7 in concentrated H2SO4 medium. Okay. The unreacted K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate needed 6.1 cm cube of 0.1 normal FAS. 10 cm cube of 0.25 normals 
K2Cl2O7 when titrated under same condition required 28.2 cm cube of 0.1 normal FAS. Calculate the COD. Now please do not get confused with this volume and normality of K2Cr2O7. Remember potassium dichromate, this is oxidizing agent. Remember the procedure like what I told to the known amount of water sample you are going to add some amount of oxidizing agent like potassium dichromate remember so we had taken 25 ml of sewage water sample to which 10 ml of potassium dichromate solution was added similarly here 10 ml of potassium dichromate solution is added now this potassium dichromate solution has the normality of 0.25 normals okay so while calculating do not get confused with this potassium dichromate volume as well as the normality of potassium dichromate. So you need to be very clear with it, like what you want. You want the volume of sewage water sample which is given, so the volume is 25 cm cube, right? Then what else you want? You want how much amount of FAS is required for sample titration, so which is given by A. So that thing you have here, which is 6.1 ml or 6.1 cm cube, okay? Then you also want the volume of FAS that was consumed during blank titration. So how much amount of FAS was consumed during blank titration? So it is 28.2 cm cube. And finally, you want normality of FAS. So normality of FAS is pretty clear here, which is 0.1 normals. So this is how you're going to check with the problem. Do not get confused when the volume of K2Cr2O7 as well as the normality of K2Cr2O7 is given. Do not get confused at all. Just remember the procedure. Okay. So I hope you all understood how to solve these problems.